My name is Casimir Kaskisua. I'm a goalie for Laval Rocket in the American Hockey League, and we are Montreal Canadiens uh, minor league team. And today's game day, I was just at the rink for a morning skate. Uh, I won't be dressing up today. We have three goalies, so so it's not my turn to play today. It was a good time for me to get some extra reps in, stay after uh, after practice, get some extra shots, and then that way I'm not backing up and jumping in extra tired if, if something happens so uh, that was kind of the plan go to the rink get a good workout in get a good skate do some extra work and then kind of just hang out for the game today's Wednesday we play Utica Comets and then Friday Saturday or Saturday Sunday Friday Saturday I think we have uh, uh, Manitoba Moose is coming to town so we have back-to-back -to -back games so I'm sure I'll, uh, I'll be back in action in one of those games I have a surprise for you guys. Yo! <laughs> Bonesy is uh, here for a quick visit. Uh, getting ready to go to the game, but we also need to talk about goalie gear. You got a lot of gear coming, man. Yeah, so even though I'm just on a PTO, I didn't expect to get any new gear. My gear is like one year old from, from my last year's team with a bunch of tape on it. So to kind of make it look like uh, it fits in Laval, uh, the team was awesome and ordered me a new set of bowers i got them right here hold on so this is the colorway i got kept it pretty simple little red little navy what do we think yeah i like i like the red on the back honestly that's a good look yeah nice and simple got that white base it's a classic look honestly. yeah classic look. simple clean but <laughs> yeah this uh i think just yesterday or two days ago it uh shipped to the nhl offices to get measured out and then so it should be here hopefully in a couple days so get some fresh gear it's always a good day also yesterday we got to take a little trip and we got to visit the true factory here you know like i said i'm on a pto i didn't ask for any gear i didn't expect to get any gear uh, i go to true uh pat is there taking us through the whole process of how they make the gear uh which is awesome going through the specs how different things play out how what, what kind of options you can you can get so uh, and they kind of surprised me and they wanted to get me a custom custom set to try out. That's what we kind of played around with today. We designed some true gear as well. We've been kids today. Oh, absolutely. Kids in a candy store. So here. So here's the true set that I designed. Same kind of idea. Um, red in the back. Uh, glove is going to be 580, which is going to be my first 580 that I'm trying. But yeah, I wanted to try True this summer. It just didn't work out. Um, obviously the factory here is like 15 minutes, 20 minutes down the road. So was able to go do that and you know, they, they're they getting me a set. So I'm excited to try that stuff out. But yeah, I'm just excited for my Bauer set to come and you know, get some fresh gear and hopefully get it here as soon, soon as possible. Uh, it'll be cool to see what you think about the 580. I know you're a big 580 guy. You like the big pocket. Uh, the bigger, the better. Yeah, right. But uh, like the look though of those true pads, the straight up like Carey Price kind of look. You can't, said uh, it, you said it. Hey, I, I call it like it is. But uh, of course you can't pass it up being here in Laval and having those Montreal colors, but. Yeah, it was good to have Bonesy there, a true helping out. He kind of knows this stuff way better oh, than yeah. me. It was my first time kind of getting my hands on and you know, seeing the specs, the stiffness and, and the boots and all that kind of stuff. But health bomb we're gonna go watch the game last time we went to a game was in nashville i took you to a preds game while i was the e-bug yeah i was the e-bug to you and now you're gonna be the e-bug to my e-bug yeah now you get to pay me back <laughs> i get to back him up as uh, the emergency goalie yeah but he's gonna shoot some content he's gonna get a vlog out maybe this year yeah i'm like so behind <laughs> on filming and getting everything edited, but I should have a pretty fun little vlog from this trip coming out soonish. Perfect, so go subscribe to his channel. That's what he said, he said. It's almost time to go to the game. See you there? Yeah, let's go.
All right, just heading to the game. Uh, Manitoba Moose is in town tonight, Friday night, 7 o'clock game. I'll be backing up. Dobish is getting the start. And a quick turnaround tomorrow, 3 o'clock game. Uh, plan is for me to play that game. I don't got nothing else to say. So, game time. This guy, guaranteed goal today. Oh. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah, it's just a lot of fun right now. Um, so, so grateful to be here and get this opportunity, and uh, you know, just just trying to do my best every day and uh, go go day by day and shot by shot. And um, yeah, the guys have been great. Um, feel comfortable and dialing off there for, for me on the ice, and uh, yeah, that's kind of been a big big deal. But that's all it takes. It might just take one one win and. Things kind of turn and the, everything in the locker room just feels different and so we're going to try to ride that wave and uh, finally I think we have a lot of good players, we're a good team so it's, I feel like it was just about things coming into place. Those are big two wins against Manitoba. Second night, 4-1, 29 shots against. Big one, big one. Very important points for us right now. I think when I got here we were last place in our division and now we're fourth place in a playoff spot. So that's kind of what we have to keep doing, keep grabbing those points. But a couple shout outs before talk more about the game, but uh, Chashua Rua, first NHL game, got called up and he's the guy who wore that hat, got called up right after the game. He's a guy I can't stop in practice. So he deserves it. So it was fun to see him, young guy, uh, keep your eyes on him. And also Lias Anderson had a big weekend for us. Big week, I think. Uh, scoring a lot of big goals for us, so uh, helping us get those points. But we did a great job of not taking too many penalties this game. Made my life easy. I think our whole team played really well to both games. Keeping things simple for me, so letting me make the first save. A lot of block shots again. Our team is doing a great job of that. And then clearing out whatever rebounds there were. Uh, so yeah, it was just fun to play behind that team. Third period was probably Manitoba's best period. They uh, gave us a little push and uh, the goal they scored, they kind of easy wrist shot from the point and right before it was getting to me, there was like a couple players in front, it hit something just a little bit, just enough to change the direction um, to go to the corner. So obviously wish I could have held it down for the S word, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take the points. I'm just like i said last couple videos my my main focus is to uh to win games and and help the team climb up to standings but we got a week of practice coming up and we have a home and home against belleville which is always uh always a challenge those belleville games are tough so we're really looking forward to them we got some good time amount of time here to get ready for that we got a special guest to wrap up the show fan favorite i think you uh give more high fives than i do do you I'm the star of the show. You got that right. Anything else you want to add? I don't know. Who's your favorite player? Daddy Cat. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See us next video. Click the button to subscribe. But if you want to see our video, click the button down below if you want to see more of our videos. Bye. Yeah. Bye.